Hey guys, what's up? My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent and I wanted to go over why the Garmin Phoenix 5X is my next wearable. Okay, so the first thing is that the Garmin Phoenix 5X and actually all of the Garmin Phoenix 5 series are both Bluetooth and ANT Plus compatible. So most wearables out there are either Bluetooth compatible or ANT Plus compatible. Uh, and what that means is they use one of two different kinds of signals to communicate to uh, fitness accessories like a, a chest strap or a foot pod or something like that. The Garmin Vivo Active HR, which I have here on my wrist, is only ANT Plus compatible. It does have Bluetooth capability, but that's only so that it can communicate to an app. If I have a Bluetooth chest strap or a Bluetooth headband or any other sort of Bluetooth accessory, it will not work with this particular watch. And I do have some Bluetooth accessories that I want to use. I also have some ANT Plus accessories that I want to use. And so I need a device that is both Bluetooth and ANT Plus compatible, and there's really nothing on the market that has both of those uh, options available to them. So this is uh, really the first time that there's been a compelling product that is both Bluetooth and ANT Plus compatible. And for that reason, it's something that I've really gravitated towards because I want to be able to use my wearable with a selection, a wide selection and wide variety of different accessories. The second reason I'm going with the Garmin Phoenix 5X and not just any version, that the, there's the 5S and the Garmin Phoenix 5, uh, and those are great options, but the reason that I'm going with the 5X version is because it has 16 gigabytes of storage for all kinds of GPS mapping capabilities. And the GPS mapping capabilities on this particular uh, watch, the 5X, are second to none. So of course you're going to be getting uh, mapping that is going to be topographical maps and stuff for hiking, hunting, uh, skiing, all of those kinds of maps. But this is also going to include mapping that has uh, points of interest. So for example, say my phone dies and I'm trying to locate a certain restaurant that I'm trying to navigate to. With the watch, I'll be able to navigate to a certain restaurant independent of my phone. My phone could be completely dead. I'll be able to navigate to that restaurant or to that point of interest using just my watch and it will give me turn-by-turn -turn navigation and that is just a really cool feature to have on a wearable right now. Even the Apple Watch doesn't quite offer the, the same GPS capabilities as uh, the Phoenix 5X will offer. Uh, and I really like that it's all downloaded onto the watch, that there's storage that's built in for it. So it doesn't have to communicate to any sort of tower to get that data. It's just communicating strictly with GPS using the built-in or onboard uh, maps that you've already downloaded uh, to get you to where you need to go. Additionally, part of the mapping includes over 40,000 golf courses, so the watch does have some golf tracking capabilities, and you'll be able to use uh, the golf maps to track how far away you are from the hole, from the front of the green, from the back of the green, where you are uh, on the golf course, and so it just has tons of GPS mapping capabilities, really, that aren't... Um, that that, that are second to none. Uh, it is the king of GPS watches, and for that reason, I'm going with the Garmin Phoenix 5X version of the Phoenix 5 series. The third reason I'm going with the Garmin Phoenix 5X is that it does not have a touch screen. All of the navigation is done using buttons. Now, that may seem like a step backwards, but if any of you have done any sort of fitness tracking or uh, hiking or in outdoor hiking when things are wet or where you're wearing gloves or in those kinds of contexts, you'll find that a touch screen is really frustrating. If it's wet or if you're wearing gloves, it really does become a hassle to try to navigate a touch screen that may not respond with gloves or may not respond when there's drops of water on the screen. And that's where the Garmin Phoenix 5 is, is very much designed to be in a situation that where you have gloves on your hands, where your watch is submerged in water or there's water on the screen, and that's not going to impede your ability to be able to navigate through all of the different functions and features of the watch. So the fourth reason that I'm going with the Garmin Phoenix 5 is that it has a large, easy to read display 
that doesn't sacrifice battery life. So the watch just in watch mode uh, will last probably upwards of about two weeks. Using certain GPS features or uh, fitness tracking features, it can last anywhere from say 72 to 100 hours of continuous use. So battery life on this is fantastic compared to most other fitness trackers and smartwatches on the market, which require you to uh, charge every three, four, five days. Some, some even more than that. Some require you almost to have daily charging. And so this is a great option for those of us who want to get away with maybe only charging once a week or maybe even once every two weeks. So that's another reason why I'm going with the Garmin Phoenix 5X. The 5X version of this watch does have better battery life compared to the other versions of the Phoenix 5. And lastly is durability. So obviously the Garmin Phoenix 5 is meant to take a beating. Any of the Phoenix 5 series are meant to be very durable. So my current watch, it's held up well. The band I've had to replace once because it got chewed up just after you know, a lot of uh, use and abuse. Um, and the screen is kind of a plastic screen, so there are some scratches on it. But the Garmin Phoenix 5X has a sapphire screen. Uh, it's made of a metal construction. It's virtually indestructible. It's the kind of watch where I'm gonna easily uh, be able to expect to wear this for several years without it going dead on me, without it breaking on me. Uh, most other wearables on the market um, are cheaper uh, and more affordable, but they're not designed to last that long. And so I want something that's kind of an investment, that's a nice looking watch that's also durable, has great build quality, something that's gonna last me several years. And I get that it's expensive and I'm paying for that, but to me, that's money well spent and I'm willing to pay that kind of money in order to get something that's a long-term investment. So those are my five reasons why the Garmin Phoenix 5X is going to be my next wearable. I will be doing so a series of reviews of this watch here in the coming weeks. So make sure you like and subscribe and stay tuned for those reviews. And let me know in the comments below if there's any reasons that you disagree with that I gave, or maybe there's additional reasons why you might choose the Garmin Phoenix 5 over uh, other wearables uh, that are out there on the market. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Hey guys, thanks for watching. My name is Eric and I'm the Techie Agent. We'll catch you next time.